Saint was tanky from the beginning. Saint is still tanky now and still alive with Elemis. Again, Saint with another initiation coming in. Hawkshot under the turret going very low. Saint could find himself another kill, and he does not stop there. Okay, so I am Saint Vicious, and this is my Jungali show, uh, sponsored by Full Sail University. And I'm gonna do it on Bolly Bear this time. Uh, let's see here. Where he at? Where'd that bear at? He is right here. Alright, so basic rundown of Bolly Bear. He's sort of like Singe, except he's a bear. <laughs> he uh, has a good gap closer with his Q, which allows him to fling people. His passive is like a built in Mundo Ultimate, uh, so when he gets low health, he regenerates a ton of health. Uh, his W gives him increased attack speed that stacks every time you auto attack, and then also allows you to gives him an execute based on uh, based on the, how low health the, the, the enemy person is. His E uh, is an AOE fear for minions, and it, uh, it's an AOE slow versus um, champion uh, other enemy champions. And then his ultimate is basically like uh, an AOE lightning claws thing, and it just blows up everything. If you want to equate it out to something, it, it basically does Jax's third hit every auto attack in an AOE. So it's just a huge, huge damage increase. Like a huge, like the amount of DPS increase that the ultimate gives for like for a point value is is insane. Uh, so yeah, I know so many people talking. Sorry. Um, and then uh, for runes. Uh, I run attack speed reds mainly just to benefit from his W and his ultimate. Uh, I run movement speed quench just so I can gap close. What are you doing, cop? Oh, no, that's true. Okay. And then I run armor yellows and I run magic resist per level blues. So it's a pretty standard page. It's my user page. Uh, so it's attack speed reds, movement speed quench, armor yellows, magic resist per level blues. And then mastery, I run the same mastery as I do on everybody else. Uh, it's gonna be a t standard uh, 21. Uh, I mean 9210. So let's see here. You can either get uh, the um, magic pen mastery, like the arcane knowledge, or you can get deadliness and weapon expertise. The only difference is gonna be that your auto is gonna hit a little harder, and your W is gonna get hit a little harder, and your Q is gonna hit a little harder. And this one's gonna make your ultimate and your E do a little bit better. I prefer this just mainly because I like for my execute to do more damage. And I feel that the AD overall is better for jungle clearing. So, oh, I'm going to keep up. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. Jungle name, Bala Bird. Oh, no, I might card this page on here. Alright. <laughs> oh, Kobe. Uh, I'll turn on some music because I can't do this on music. That's so loud. Oh, no wonder it's like a max max volume. I'm like, why is everything so loud? <laughs> Alright. So I have Silsa on my team and Teddy R.O., which are the two biggest trolls in all of the game. So. Winning this game will be a true test of how good Volley Bear is. Like, <laughs> this is like a tougher, tougher challenge than like winning. Winning worlds like three times over is winning with uh, winning with Sil Sol and Teddy Aro. So I'll see if I can do it. Uh, yeah. So I got Sil Sol here, Ghost Ignite, Ezreal. Uh, you can take either or. Both what Ghost and Flash work on Volley Bear. It really depends. I kind of like Flash better, because you already run so fast if, with your, your Q. Um, I think it's better to be able to do, like, run up and Flash some, like, Flash throw somebody. Like, that thing is available. It really depends on the lane you're trying to gank, I think. Like, here I'm probably going to take Flash, but I have to see what their AD carries and stuff like that are. 
Nine times out of ten, I'm gonna take Flash, though. Why has Volibear become popular? Um, there was a guy, TPS's jungler, I can't remember his name, but he started playing him a lot in the Asian League, and uh, they just kind of picked him up, and then after that, Diamond Proc started playing him, and a lot of other people. Uh, a lot of the other junglers also got nerfed on top of that, so it kind of made Volibear more prominent. Volibear compared to Zen, Hecarim Vi, and J4. Definitely now that they're all nerfed. I'd say he's probably... Him and Nasus are probably the strongest junglers in the game right now. One's opinion on J4. <laughs> There's not like god tier or anything for junglers. Do you think his volley is more viable jungling top? Actually, Volibear is pretty viable top. Like, people underestimate how strong that he is in a matchup. He's actually not bad. If you basically max E up top lane and just run in and chunk them and then run out. The HP items have really nothing to do with how popular Volibear is. Most people don't even build War Mogs on Volibear. And they actually nerfed a lot of the items that people build on Volibear. Like Iron Slurry got like a minor nerf and then Bulwark also got a minor nerf. But you can really build Volibear any way you want. Like he's a very item independent champion. As long as you build him kind of tanky, you're good to go. Like you can even just rush for them out if you want to do that. MX W E M X E, just because E is more upfront damage, and uh, you'll be able to use E two or three times in a team fight. W you'd only be able to use like once. Volibear is okay counter juggling. He's better just the early gank. Uh, Iron Slurry, mm, it really depends. Uh, I actually tried the Moby build where you get Mobies and then you get the jungling item or whatever. I think it actually works pretty good too. There's like you can just build anything you want on Volibear. Like you can just close your eyes and just start picking out random tank items. Like this game they have so much magic damage I'm probably going to stack a lot of MR. Like even a Spirit Visage would be good here. Like just because they have so much magic damage. So I might even do that. They have Jungle Elise which is magic damage. Jungle, or they have Cast which is magic damage. Malphite's magic damage. That's 80 cannon but still 80 cannon does a lot of magic damage. And Terrica has a lot of magic damage. Why do you think Dig didn't ban Volibear against Gamut? Because Volibear isn't like overwhelmingly overpowered or anything like that. Uh, Shirelia's Rush can be okay. How do I feel about the locket nerf? It's irrelevant because they lowered the price of it. <sighs> Volibear's job in a team fight? Um, zoning and initiating. You can initiate as well. He's good. His best is a secondary initiate. So I'm gonna start with Shetty and five health potions, and I can either start W or E. But I'm gonna see if we can get an invade off. My team's gonna AFK though, so it's gonna. I don't think we'll be doing anything. Never mind. So I'm gonna start blue and try to get our early gate off. What does secondary initiate mean? It means somebody that goes in after the fight's initiated. <laughs> That's what secondary initiate means. No, I run nine twenty one zero. 
I think going 9 utility is useless. I don't know why so many people do it. You really don't benefit from it at all. <laughs> Chase has so many mana potions. Whatever, that's fine. He's against a Malphite, so I think he'll be fine. Just allow him to spam him down even more. You can go magic or spirit stone. Doesn't really matter. Like this game, I might go with spirit stone. took my red. So I'm just gonna get a strong leash and then just go try to take their red since they took mine. Yeah, since my team said they took my red, uh, obviously the jungle is gonna go to their blue and grab their blue. Uh, it's jungle at least, so I should be able to grab it. I also still have my smite, so I think I can grab it before I can get up here. They also don't have a warded judge judging by how Malphite and them are moving. I'm gonna try and get top. Creepway is coming. I'm gonna wait on that then. Oh, right, never mind. He's engaged on him. Oh my god! <laughs> I like creep locked. He died though. It's good. It's all good. So I'm gonna run around his jungle and stuff like that, just because I know he's up here. I don't have flash, but I know I can beat him one v one. The heck, I like flung him in the air. Wait, right, back up, back up. Alright, we put our pressure on him. That's good. So I'm gonna go back and buy. Mm, I think I'm gonna get Spirit Stone in this game. I don't think I need the armor. And I'm also gonna grab a pink cord. So I managed to recover my red buff. Main reason I'm grabbing a pink ward is because I want to just camp the heck out of somebody's lane. Hey, this guy I know doesn't have yet any uh, summoners anymore, so I can pink ward his ward and then come back and kill him. And bottom lane's getting crushed on its own, so I don't really think I need help that. Oh god, run! He's so low. Oh, he managed to escape. That's good. He's trying to freeze the lane into the tower. I'm just gonna shove it all the way up. Nice. Oh, he silenced me. He's going back. Alright, so I'm gonna go. Nah, I'm just gonna farm his stuff. It should be fine. Because I see at least bottom, so I'm just gonna start taking his jungle, because there's nothing you can do about it. Kind of a waste to pink ward there, I could use the green ward, but who cares. So Malphite knows I'm up here somewhere. I'm gonna go back and buy my boots. 
it's Elise is heading up here. Yeah, he's going up here. He knows his jungle's gone, so. Sucks for him. So he's going to have wards. Like, me having this ward allows my top lane and pretty much my whole team just to feel safe. Uh, this gives us entire vision of uh, every time he goes by race, we can know if he's top side jungle or he's bottom side jungle in the game. So that's an important ward to have. Sil so he's got the ghost. So I can probably gank bottom. I'm going to try and do that. He probably bait them out. I don't think they even have a ward. And he doesn't have boots. So let's see what I can do here. Because you're obviously going to be going so hard into him. Oh my god, I did the thing where flings him forward. Auto him. Alright, you got him. That's good. That was good by the support to initiate that gank. Oh god, I gotta save him. Got him. Alright, this Azire is actually really good. He had a really good bind and I followed up on it. What the heck? He's flinging people forward. Should be able to get him. My key is coming up. Alright, Jay's gonna come down here. I fear his spiders. He's gonna jump to. Okay, just just die already, man. All right, thank you. Finally died. <laughs> All right, so my team's actually doing pretty good. So thank God. Ah, oh, you got the kill. So that. Yeah, that guy's moving up here. Oh god, I might die here. Alright, I'm fine. No! I have to give up my blue, though. That's fine, though. If I had my passive, I'd probably fight for that, but I don't have my passive, so... Not gonna fight for it. I've been over ganking, over chasing, so I have to pick that up real quick. Get some levels. Alright, so now I have my ultimate, so I hit like a truck. TS ultimate should be up in like 30 seconds, so then I can set up a gank on bottom like that. So Elise is holding mid. Alright, never mind. Oh dear. Oh no! Oh my god, I'm so bad. I got stunned. I played that so bad. <laughs> I need to get some armor. Wow, I took so much tower damage there. Oh, TF, no, now you're gonna die. Uh, he got him. He got him. Worth it. Although, I, I did give up red buff. But he's AD TF. I just realized that. Uh, I played that so badly. I should have gone for at least from the beginning, and uh, I also shouldn't have gotten baited into the tower. <coughs> okay. So, usually... I'm gonna try and tower dive this. I wonder if it's warded. This is actually a really bad idea because... Oh god. Uh, uh. 
I have to save him. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. They're, they're so low. Alright, so we managed to kill him. I'm surprised this cast is being such a pussy. He could go in and easily kill this guy. Alright. Damn, Top just got bulldozed. But our mid lane's killing their mid lane. It's killing their tower, so it's actually really good. Catherine's heading to mid. I'm gonna make a ward for him so I can see him coming. Oh, there he is. Run for your dear life. Nah, he's good. Hmm. I don't think he's warded yet. What the heck? He's just like diving straight up on him. He's got double buffs. We won't win the fight if Elise comes. I have to be careful. I guess that's why he's gonna play the Rune King. He wants to just be able to duel him. So I'll just go and camp bottom and kill them. Kassan's roaming bottom. He wants to grab kills. Alright, so TF needs to counter gank this. I'm coming down there right now. Yeah, six seconds on my Q until it comes up. I have to be ready for that. Oh shit, there's four people down here. Ha! Get dunked. Oh no, the baits. If we get off another stun, we can definitely kill them. Alright, that's really good right there. Baited them really hard. At least Mr. Well, I saw her coming in, I knew she was going to use her stun, so I immediately dodged that. Oh no! They're not even there anymore. I like ditched out. Whatever, so still got tons of kills. Uh, that was a 4 for 1, a 4 for 2 trade. So, I'm actually going to use my ultimate to push this wave. Oh, we got two turrets off that, so it's actually really good. Okay, I think our blue should be up. I never actually cleared it after Kasten tried to gank me, so I don't even know if it's up. But it would be up if he did clear it. Yeah, I never actually cleared it. I'm terrible. But we have ADTF, so he doesn't really care about that. So, timing our blow to make sure I know when it comes up. I'm actually gonna get Spirit Visage shoot right here, just because they have so much, uh, they have so much magic damage. So, now, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do the Moby's build with the, uh, into, uh, the Spirit of the Ancient Golem. Just so I can be just take his balls and tower dive. Uh, we can do drag, do drag and two top. Alright, so I see two people top. I'm gonna go down and try and do dragon. This guy's like going off somewhere. No, oh, help me. Uh, I guess they're killing him. They should be okay. Man, dude, they're doing work. I guess I, guess I can solo dragon. It doesn't really matter. I don't have much armor though, so it's gonna be rough. But my passive should heal me for plenty. I need to get this, their blue ward, but I don't have a ward on me. Mm. I'm actually going to take this from TF, just because he's, uh, just because he's not AP. If he is AP, I would not take that from him, though. I think Kasten's heading bottom. Nope. He's mid.
I actually want to get Mobies, just so I can get around the map better. Alright, so Cassin's coming down there to check for blue. He's missing it, so good for us. And I think Jace is taking top tower. We're actually in a really good spot right now. We just need to get wards deep in their jungle. That's one mistake a lot of people make when they're not ahead, is they don't ward the enemy jungle up. Like, you deep ward the enemy jungle, it allows you to see everything, and you can make plays off of it. So... I'm gonna grab some wards. Now I got my Moby so I can get around the map really fast. And I'm probably gonna build my uh, Spirit of the Ancient Golem next. Just because I need the tenacity. And I got these Moby so I can get around the map and help people out. Man, there's three people top. <laughs> Tarek's up there as well, so he needs to be careful. Alright. Yeah, we can we can dive him actually, we have TF. I can get him, I think. Fuck you, man. Holy shit! That people flashing over everywhere. What the heck? I got so greedy for that. I misplayed that. Is that gonna hit? Oh my god. Yeah, it just like came out of nowhere. It's, he's dead. Wow, we just played that really bad. And the funny thing is, his Malphite didn't even die. Ah. I don't have Merc Treads. That was a big problem there. And somehow, Castle managed to get enough, enough mana to do a second Rip Fog. So. We just misplayed that. I misplayed that too. Alright. I really need tenacity. That's how that got messed up. So, Kassin's pushing bottom, that means he's going to roam middle right after this. I can actually probably make a play on them. Ah, uh, I don't have any tenacity. He's dead. No way, dude. Oh my god, no! TF, where are you at? We should have backed up. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Oh, no! Okay. We actually might be able to kill him. If he can hit the gold card. Yeah, he's dead. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Dude, that Malphite is so tanky. Is he going to do it? Wow, he's, he's trying to kill this Malphite with like two health. Crazy. Damn. The Teddy Arrow is too much power. You see that power? It's Teddy Arrow. Or not Soul Soul power. It's too much. Alright. Once I get my spirit of the uh, Ancient Gom, everything is going to be good though. Mm. Oh, he had Flash. Wanted to bait them? <laughs> bait them into what? Killing him? Maxing Q second? It's terrible. That doesn't sound good at all. You really don't need the CDR on the Q. It's not really that, not really that important. Like at level 1, the blue buff or any kind of CDR item is 7.2, so... Like you need some type of damage, and this comes from your W. And your W's also it's always gonna make your ultimate better, and it's gonna make, pretty much it's gonna make everything better about you. Uh uh. This looks dangerous. I'm going in hot. He's got Moby's too, it's cheats. Just cast it on the side, he wants to fight. Their blue's up. It's like AFK or something. Oh my god, why does everybody keep hitting me? What is with people and hitting me? 
<laughs> I like one in, they're like, kill the volley bear. They traded their cast. Oh my god, three men ulted. That's devastating. The fact that we got three man malphite ulted. They're actually kiting it back very well though. Ezra well might be able to kill everybody here. Alright, you got two kills. That worked out really good for us. He has Morellos. If he can hit one more combo, then they'll kill him. Oh no, don't do it, man. Don't do it! You guys are all gonna die. Oh, he hit the combo, okay. I'm gonna go clear top, because I need levels. Is he really gonna do this? Don't you do it, man. Okay. Oh, he's he's doing it. Oh my. God. Oh man. All right. After this next wave, I'm gonna have my tenacity, so I'll be able to dive in a lot better like that. I should actually get merch towards this game, but it's whatever. Where the hell is this good? Stop hitting me, man. Or at least it's heading top trying to come kill me. So, I'm gonna get my tenacity item. And I won't get permacy seed. It's gonna be great! We got dragon, it's good. Good pick up. I'm gonna pink ward baron. So now I can just run around and be an idiot. Well, I need an armor item, so I think I might get Solari. Yeah, Solari. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do Solari. And then I also need an MR item. So no, I'm just gonna get bulwark. I'm gonna rush bulwark right now. That's health. It's armor. It's everything. It's pretty cheap now too. Yeah, there's like all these people waiting up here. Cause we need Bulwark because they're massively AP heavy. Alright, coming to go. Eh. Alright, TS gonna split bottom. They really want to engage middle. Like, you can just tell by the way they're moving out. So I think we should just defend under turret. If they come up, then I will try to fling one though. They're holding pretty well though. They're they might go for TF. I'm trying to keep an eye on them. Yeah, they're moving for TF. So just need to tell them to go back. There's so many people after him. And you just TF all these mid. <laughs> we can go push top, I think. Damn, they're chunking them so hard. It's disgusting. Jace just did so much damage with Ezreal. Or Ezreal's really fed. We should be okay once Ezreal gets a little bit. Like, if he gets a, a Banshee or something, I think we'll, we'll do great. And as long as they don't get initiated on mid. We're gonna go take top right now. I'm gonna proxy the wave. Gotta kill turret. So dangerous. Can I get the fuck away from you, man? Oh, he's dead. That actually turned out really well for us. My passive saved me so hard, and even though they ignited it. Just because I regen so freaking much. Like, Volley Bear passive is just so good. It's 30% uh, of your health that you gain back. It's pretty much like a. It's half as good as Mundo's Ultimate. And it's actually better than Mundo's Ultimate in some ways because Mundo's Ultimate takes some of your health when you when you act or you, or you proc it. So. This is so dangerous to do this, but. Get out of there! 
I'm getting the fuck out of here. Alright. He's a hero. Ted Hero's a hero. Okay. Hero to the cause. Good job, Ted Hero. <laughs> So they're gonna rush Baron, so I gotta get up there fast. Can must poke. Mm, he's gonna do that pretty quick actually. He has the two oh, see, items. Baron's still at 6k, we don't have to go in yet. We didn't get Baron? Oh man. Whatever. That's fine. We end of the game. I like couldn't smite for some reason. I think I was trying to smite his spiders. No, like it wouldn't even smite. Like I don't even know what the fuck that was. No, Malphite all doesn't stop smite. Like, it was even doing the sound, or it's like click, 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 click. I don't know why I wouldn't smite. Uh oh. What the heck? <laughs> like, I just like disappeared. Alright, so my passive should proc. Oh no, he killed me! He does so much damage. Uh. Alright, so this game's pretty much over. When should I ultimate? Usually ultimate if you... If you know that the fight's gonna be... You don't ultimate before you go in. You ultimate like once you've already connected your CC. Yeah, I thought my passive came up. Turns out it didn't. <laughs> it's okay though. This is not a very typical build I would go on Volley Bear. Uh, it's kind of like a more magic resist heavy build, just because of their team gum. More typical build would probably be Iron Solari. Uh, the the Mobies and the Spirit of the Ancient Gulm are fine though. Oh my god, four minute Malphite all. Why would one pick Volley Bear when you can pick Uh Volley Bear has a better gap closer than this Q. Harder kite. You can go for as a matter of Mars and Bolly Bear. Both are good. If I was gonna finish my build out of this game, I'd finish ball work. Probably finish out a lock and iron slurry. Uh, against that team I wouldn't get frozen heart, but against maybe some other teams I'd get frozen heart. Uh, or I'd get like a frozen mallet or something like that. Or randoins. Probably a randoins in most cases. But they just nerf randoins, so I'd probably get frozen heart. So, yep. And I think my game crashed. Oh my god! I thought they moved. Well, okay, whatever. I yeah. Well, my game crashed. Terrific. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yep. Uh, if you guys like this uh, jungleology, uh, it's brought to you by Full Sail University. Uh, you should guys check them out. They kind of they're an online college and they uh, specialize in kind of like computer degrees and art degrees and. You can hear, see right here under the programs tab, they actually have a ton of stuff that they offer for bachelors. So if you guys uh, keep wanting to see more Jungology, uh, you know, hit up their website and if you're interested in learning or just taking any kind of individual classes. Uh, but thanks for watching. Next week I will probably do whatever jungler I want to get nerfed. Um, yeah, pretty much like every jungler that I do on Jungology gets nerfed. So. Uh, Bolly Bear's probably gonna get nerfed next. Like, I'm gonna actually gonna go over my YouTube, and I'm gonna see all the junglers that I've done my jungleology on, and let's see how many of them have gotten nerfed. We got my jungleology on Udir. He actually got nerfed because they nerfed randoms and things like that, 
and yeah. The looters just always suck. Malphite, they nerfed his E. It's getting nerfed on the PBE. Uh, Shivana just garbage, anyways. They, no, they nerfed Play the Rune King, so it's indirect Shivana nerf. Uh, Jarvan got nerfed. Hecarim got nerfed. Uh, Zen got nerfed. It's just like, come on, guys. I want to keep doing Jugologies, but you just keep nerfing the champions I do them on. It's making me sad. It's like so sad. So sad. Yep, that's the end of my show. Thanks for watching, fellas.